Hey guys, this is Greg at Underground Graphics. Uh, we've had a lot of uh, response on the uh, spear kit. Uh, we did a uh, intro to that uh, on Bronco 6G and on the uh, Facebook page. Uh, we, you know that kit came from part of the Eddy kit, uh, which this is included in that package. Um, the Eddy kit, I'm sure you've seen that as well. That's the one where we actually go over the fenders. That is a very long install. That's when we last did this. Um, we did it with the uh, we matched the Badlands orange. Um, and then put that gloss black. And again, this is already masked, but I'm gonna show you here kind of what that, what that looks like. Again, this has got a paper mask on it. Yours will come with a, a clear air mask film on it. Um, and uh, I did notice too, this has been like this for about a week. I haven't put this on yet for the install video, but as we peel this mask off, there may be some uh, texture in the laminate that will come out with heat once that's outside in the sun. Uh, it doesn't take too long and it, and it looks it looks fine um, but anyway um, you know this is that this is going to fit right into that into that crease um, and that's going to run all the way down the body we did leave extra here on the side so you can tuck uh, people have different preferences on how they want to do that as an installer I like to have extra tuck that then trim it um, rather than cut that short and show paint there on the body um as well we you know we, we hand cut these so we get as close as we can to that edge so again just make sure you're getting right on that on that crease i'm going to do the hinge method which is going to be i'm going to tape on the left tape on the right and then put a piece of tape top and bottom and really just kind of eyeball and make sure that line follows that crease but if you want to be extra careful with that we can take that masking tape and you can actually mask that bottom line all the way down the vehicle you know something like this so you know you're on that on that line uh, it's a little bit of insurance you don't have to do it but again that if it makes it a little easier to see by all means you can do that then so you know you've got that line already set up and I even got a little bit there but again when that's on that when that stripes on there that that's gonna it'll be straight the things you want to watch out for are hitting your panels body or fender door back door in that rear fender. Something else you've noticed as well, the rear doors, I'm not sure if it's just taking them on and off, but on both of our Broncos, uh, we've noticed that there's about a 16th of an inch variation, um, you know, in that crease. And it's just a fitment. Thank you for it. Uh, but, uh, you know, don't worry about it. Just lay it across and let the stripe stay straight. Um, not a huge deal, but just wanted to note it. If you, if, you, if you start looking at your Bronco, I'm sure you'll find all kinds of things you'll, you'll question. Um, anyway, we're going to get started on that. Um, again, this is a, we're printing this on 3M IJ 180MC, which is a premium commercial wrap film. We're using IJ 8518, again, premium gloss laminate. Uh, if you want to go with the satin laminate, we can do that as well. But we can't do both with the digital print. So I like this digital print makes it a one layer install um, it's long term it's good material uh, I prefer the gloss on this but if you want to get a little bit of contrast you can go with that satin laminate now we are offering a die cut ver die cut version as well uh, single color is going to be just like this all solid white I think we have a photo of that on our Facebook page as well um, or the website um, but if you want to go a two color die cut, which is going to give you the option of doing like a bronze or a gold metallic, we can't print metallic in our inks. So you are going to be limited to what you do with those colors. Um, and again, going with like a Badlands orange, we use 3M gloss bright orange, which is a little bit brighter than that badge is. Doesn't bother me. I think it's really close. That's what we use for all of our kits. Um, but given the option, if we can print it, we can match that and get just a little bit uh, more of a paler orange in that stripe. Um, so again, it's kind of the pros and cons of, of how you want to do that. Two color die cut, again, if you're going to go with like a matte black top, you can mix those colors. Do a matte black top with a gloss black uh, or a gloss black or gloss orange or gloss blue or whatever that secondary color is, white with the pearl red. You have those options. Keep in mind, we have to hand lay that. So we've done a couple of them. And we're seeing a little bit of, a, on the darker colors, we had a little bit of a white, or there's a dark gray showing behind that black. Um, 
not noticeable, but if you flip up those and do contrasting colors, we may tweak some of those and see if we can get those, you know, looking better. Um, but that is tough, and that's why that price is going to be a little bit more. Right now, we're running introductory pricing on all these fear kits, um, but those prices will be will, will be going up soon to kind of follow the rest of our our our, our kits, like the first high. Um, a lot of labor goes in on these, um, putting these together, especially when they're two layer. Um, so we, we just kind of wanted to get a feel for this, see how this went. Um, anyway, uh, to get going, hopefully I answer those questions on the kit itself. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Um, we're always here, love to talk Bronco. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So again, I'm gonna go back and do that, that hinge method. This is another option if you wanna do that. As we talked about that film, it is wrap film, die cut or printed. If you take this to an installer, this is not a very long install. I would imagine an hour at the most. Uh, let the installer watch the video. But again, this is a really simple install. It's a really simple kit. Um, if you don't feel comfortable doing this, find a wrap guy. They should have no problem doing this kit. The only cutting is going to be on that back uh, fuel lid. Uh, and then again, to trim off excess into those doors. But there's no cutting on the paint with this, with this kit. So again, I'm going to lose that piece there. And let's get started. I'm just going to mark that front. I'm going to pull this tight towards the back. And then I'm going to check that seam right there, and that's good right there. And again, even with this, if you want to be just certain, again, I know that's right, but give yourself a little guide never guide That's too short just go to the back come back to that here's our passenger door Kind of tight. Don't you don't want to break it off the tape, but you do want to keep it so you don't get the droop in the middle. And if you tape it all up first, what we recommend is kind of getting at the front of the vehicle or getting at the back and looking down that stripe. You'll see if it's if it's if it's cocked or if it's if it's off a little bit. And again, clean and prep this. We're doing a alcohol water mix, basically 10% alcohol, 90% water. Um, it's just to just to clean that top layer. This is where I've got that little bit more of that seam showing because that door is just shifted a little bit down. Uh, Side. Let me double check this. And it is. Be right back. So I'm just lightly, I'm not pushing on that. I just want to get that over that over that crease. Okay, you really don't even need those. I like having a little bit of tape, I'll probably, because we've got this all lined up, I'll tape it a corner up so we can lay the corner, tape a corner up so we can lay the next corner. And now I'm going to run down here and take a quick look down the side. It doesn't take much, I mean, that's right on. Um, as I'm looking at my tools here, I forgot to mention the heat gun. 
uh, wrap film, and this is going to go into a recession, so we do want to post heat this. Uh, 180 is our magic number. Um, you don't, uh, you not, may not have a uh, thermostat on there uh, to read that, but nice and hot. Uh, you don't want to burn it, but again, get that warm. Uh, you'll feel in your hand to where it's like, ooh, that's hot enough. You know, that's that's where you want to be with that. You're really using this also to make sure uh, there's no areas where you didn't get that adhesion on there. Um, the minute we get heat on there, you'll see anything come up. If it does come up, we're going to take that heat off, go back, let that cool for a second, go back, push that back down, and go back and just kind of heat that up again. Um, you know, posting is important, especially on vehicle wraps. We're doing one right over here. Anytime we're getting to some serious turns, any crevices, any deep recessions, we want to post heat all that, make sure that's going to set that adhesion in memory. These aren't near that stressful. So again, we're doing that just to kind of make sure that that everything is tacked. We've got full adhesion in that crevice and that's what we want to check. Um, all right, let's get started. Um, this is what I was talking about where I want to just fold the piece back. I'm just going to do that, use that piece of tape here. Um, and I think I've showed you some of the other videos if you've watched some of our other stuff. I like to make my mark, just taking that edge of that squeegee and breaking that tape. Now we will provide you with a squeegee. It will not have the soft end on it. So if you're in this, if you want the soft end when you're on the vinyl by itself, um, the raw material, as long as we got that mask on there, you can use that hard edge. Um, soft edge is nice, but if you, if you want it, I would suggest using, uh, a microfiber towel around the edge or even like a, an old shirt something like that um, we're gonna pull back half I don't have my scissors so make sure to get yourself some scissors um, I'll do that on the next one but I do have a okay, masking tape um, we've got a breakaway blade which will work as well that's just a little more dangerous so you're going to cut you know you don't want to hit that paint but again uh scissors are over there on the counter come come back and get that on our break so i've got that this is my mark right there so again i'm just going to get under that tack that real lightly and that's when i can start to going right down the middle and i'm just using my thumb right on that line and then go a little bit wider out on those edges. I'm gonna pull off that middle section. I'm gonna use that one for that mark again. Um, again, that trick I like breaking that apart. You can use your blade on if you want on that. You just cut really lightly on that paper, not on the paint side, just to score that masking tape and that'll come right up. You don't want to do this outside. Do this in a temperature controlled garage or environment. Um, if you have to do this outside, not in direct sunlight, and you're gonna follow that. The front has a little bit of curve to it. It's ever so slight, but again, that's why if you make those marks, you can kind of pull that side down and kind of drag it down as you go and hit that. As you can see, I'll go ahead and pull this one off and you can kind of see how that looks. Doing the other three, just as easy. We got some talks to do behind the scenes. And again, if you get a little bubble in that, I did right there. Again, it's air release. You're really just going to push that down. It'll come right out. But you can lift this up. I can lift that up. I can lay it back down. And 
again, that, now that that mask is off, you do want to have that soft side. So if you have a, a microfiber, a t-shirt, just put it on that end and just want to make sure there's a little bit of air in there too. And again, thumb on that, all comes right out. You want to make sure we're on that crease. That's what I want to, I want to look at. So we get to this edge here. Again, I like to sharp blade, not cutting on the paint. But we're going to use the edge of that door and put the top side of that blade on that so the blade's out, not on the door, cutting away from the door. And slice right down on that end. That way we can just roll that edge in. You don't need much. You've got a black plastic liner on the back side of that. I think I've still got this door, so it's not taped. Pull that open. And again, this is where that heat gun comes in handy. If you wanna soften that up a little bit. talking about getting that warm. It's not much, that's it, it's good. Get that nice and warm. And just roll that in. When you go back to post heat, it's really, this doesn't take much. You can use a hair dryer for this. Just do something to get it warm. You want to look for anything coming up, any tack, any areas that, that may start to give like a little ripple or a little wave. And that's all, that's all you got to do. Um, obviously you want to do that for each panel as we go down. Go ahead and keep going. We'll do this, do this whole side for the video. And then whatever I'm at, I'll be, besides my yapping, will be what you'll be looking at for doing two sides. So as we're getting a little break here, I want to tell you guys thanks again for following us. Um, we are doing, and I guess it'll probably be looking like end of the year, uh, thousand subscribers we're gonna give away a $250 kit that was our gift certificate um, we may up that as we get closer I think we've got some kits now that we do want to get out and, and, and see people do so be sure to tell your friends to subscribe and follow like all that good stuff I think we're going to get more requests for more stuff custom. Another common question is what does this color look like on a, you know, your, your color Bronco? I don't have access to all the colors. Obviously, we chose the cactus because we felt that was going to be the best to represent our graphics. Obviously, the darker colors uh, are limited to options for as far as you know, matte black graphics, kind of hard to see. Um, but, uh, you know, so if you have any requests for, you know, what these may look like, I don't mind doing a quick 2D render. Um, you know, uh, we do a lot of these, so they do take time. So uh, if you know what you want to see, I don't mind doing something for you. And uh, if something else, you know, that we, you've seen or you want that we haven't done yet or made a kit of, uh, let us know. If it's something that we think would be a great fit uh, to add to the site, uh, we'll do that. We typically will do that art at no charge as long as we know we're going to make a kit out of it. If it is a one-off and something that you want just for yourself, uh, we'll be charging you a full price for that artwork, for that time to create that kit. But that will be your kit not sell that to anyone else. Um, I really like the way the stripe looks. Again, 
come back. Open that door, we can tuck that in a little bit further. You'll have to do that from the inside. A little tight, but easy to get to. And again, these edges on the back side, you do want to go back with that heat. Again, just softens that up. Make sure you got a good tack on that. I will say that air mask is clear. It conforms a little bit better than that paper does but it is kind of tricky to get off so if you want to use the paper request it when you order uh, but again that air mask is fine um, again pros and cons it's easier to put on but a little harder to get to get that mask off to expose that 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 vinyl and let's cut that so this one i don't want to cut because that's going to tuck in and kind of curve down a little bit um, i do need to release it though so i can get that door open Pull that back a little bit, open that door, and again, this will be a little tricky to see. You won't see that on the camera, but again, same process, eat it, just roll it with your thumb to get that tucked in. We will be doing another kit on this, probably tomorrow. Um, we've seen it once before, and we're gonna bring back that Wanderer in a two color. Uh, we got a hood version to go on here, the side stripe. Uh, we'll take this off, we'll get that Wanderer kit on there, um, and then we're gonna get into our rockers. Uh, I know you guys have been waiting for that for quite some time. We've got several designs, still doing some test fitments on our two door back here. Um, and then we're gonna do some photos and videos and pictures of that uh, during the rest of the week, probably going into next week. So hopefully those will be up soon. piece. I still have to trim the gas tank, but other than that, the side is done. So again, as you get in that cut, you've got an edge in here where you're, you know, if I can get a speed in there, I can get that blade in there. I just don't want to, again, I want to turn that just enough not hit the paint. Not too hard on that, even with the, with the uh, soft side. I don't want to put a mark on that. So you really just want to, again, go down there with your finger. You guys, that is a great color with the Badlands. This is that spot on that door where my door went down and I did hit that. I kind of followed that. I should have come up a little bit higher, but you would have exposed a little bit of that seam. But if you're talking, I mean, that's like a 30 seconds of an inch, if that. Um, I think it looks great. Again, I'm excited to see what you guys do with this kit. Solid colors look good. There are going to be some colors that look, you know, that work well with certain colors. Uh, the white looks great on this. Um, if you have a bad band, we use that orange. If you got a black diamond, we can use that blue. If you want to talk colors, just give us a call, shoot us an email, be happy to talk this through with you guys. And um, again, uh, this we're running right now. We're running an introductory special, probably running for just a couple of weeks, uh, and then these will go up just a bit. Um, but uh, again, we love, this is our simple design kit. It's going to work great for a lot of people, so uh, we want to see this out, guys. Again, give us a call. We'll talk with you guys soon. Thank you.